In this tutorial, we'll look at some ways to edit your markers in Storyline 360. So let's go ahead and edit the marker we just created. Now the first thing we want to do is take this marker and just drag it into better position. You can see it's completely covering up the capital. That's okay, just grab your label and then you can drag it to a new layout that makes more sense. All right, so this works pretty well. Let's go ahead and change the marker's color. Let's make it black. So you can come up here to the marker styles and you can see you can format the marker just like any other shape in Storyline. Go ahead and choose black. So let's go ahead and change the label style. I want my label to have a real strong contrast as well. So I'm gonna come up here to label styles and you can see you have some pre-built label structures. I'm just going to choose a dark color fill and you can see that it also reverse the text color too to a white. And now we have this really strong contrast with the white text, the black label over the, over the background image. Now we started with a blank marker, right? We didn't add an icon. We didn't choose one with an icon. Well, we can go back and add an icon now, and you can always choose icons after you've created them. So let's go ahead and add an icon to our marker. So just come up here to the change icon and scroll down to office and let's select the gavel. That seems appropriate since we're talking about making laws. All right now I wanna change the animation that it came with. You can see that it has a pulse animation. So I can come up here and you can see I have my animate options and let's just change this one to a swirl. Now the other thing I wanna do is that when I roll over the marker, I want everything to show up. I want that label to show up as soon as I roll over it. I don't wanna to have to click it. So just select show all on hover. All right, so let's go ahead and preview it and see what it looks like. All right, you can see that we have our swirl animation. So it's a little bit more obvious. It lets me know that there's, there's something to do or click on screen. And when I roll over the marker, everything opens at once. And when I roll off, you can see it closes. Okay. In the next tutorial, we'll continue working with markers by looking at even more ways to customize and edit markers in Articulate Storyline 360.